This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. Now, during his campaign, President Obama promised to spend about $150 billion on renewable energy over the next 10 years. Now, many stock analysts have become very bullish on solar as well as wind stocks. But as the recession hit, many alternative energy stocks have plummeted. For example, LDK Solar, Vestas Wind Systems, JA Solar, they're all down more than 50 percent over the past 12 months. But our next guest says a handful of small and mid-cap U.S. utilities are, have renewable energy projects in the works. Now, are they good investments? Hugh Wynn of Stanford Bernstein, good to have you with us. Uh, tell us about what, what is the, the story right now. You're saying maybe it is the utilities, some smaller utilities are going to profit from this effort for alternative energy. How does that work? Well, basically, we think that the growth in renewable generation will be driven by state-mandated requirements to achieve certain levels of renewable generation in the retail power supply in the state. So the state of California, for example, has a requirement that 20 percent of the power output supplied by utilities in California to retail customers come from renewable generation by 2010. And the legislature, both the upper and lower houses, have passed uh, bills that would increase that to 33 percent by 2020. So what we've done is to look at the um, state requirements that are on the books today, black letter law that exists in 28 states today, which account for about two-thirds of U.S. power demand, and try to estimate what rate of growth in renewable generation would be required to, to achieve uh, those uh, those objectives. And we've also had a look at which companies are capitalizing on those mandates to maximize the rate of growth in their um, um, regulated rate base through investment in, in, in renewable generation. Now before, now, before you go any further, let me just ask you, when, when you look at these mandates, is it that the utilities themselves have to generate the renewable energy, or can they buy that renewable energy from other sources and then pass that along as part of their total sort of uh, electricity uh, generating capacity? No, they can um, purchase that capacity, or they can purchase that energy from, from third parties. They can basically generate it themselves. Uh, the main point is that the origin of the electrons is some power plant which uses a renewable resource. So the idea is it doesn't really matter how they get there, just go ahead and make sure that you're providing that renewable energy source. That's correct, yes, that's correct. And which types of, uh, of utilities right now have you been looking at? How, how are we going to benefit from this as investors? Well, basically what we've found is that um, the utilities that seem to have the greatest leverage to this growth are somewhat surprisingly regulated utilities that are pursuing investments in wind generation to meet with uh, uh, state-mandated requirements, uh, putting that investment in their rate base and are being allowed by state regulators to earn, and often in many cases, a, a premium return on that investment. The way we've tried to assess the degree of leverage is by looking at the dollar value of those investment programs relative to the market capitalization of the companies that are undertaking them. And what we found is that uh, firms like Portland General Electric in, in Oregon, uh, Pinnacle West, uh, AES, and Alliant have the, uh, the largest exposure to this renewable growth. And of those three firms, Portland General, Pinnacle West, and Alliant are all predominantly regulated utilities. So you get a kind of a double bang, right? I mean, because on the one hand, you know with a regulated utility kind of what your, your cost is going to be and, and what the, you're going to be able to charge. But now you're saying on top of that, you get an added bonus because they are going to participate in this renewable energy uh, strategy. Exactly right. And I think that they're also... Um, other ways in which the growth in renewable generation may benefit regulated utilities, and the, one of the most obvious ones is through the growth in the transmission links required to bring renewable resources to the grid. So renewable resources like solar and wind are often in uh, hot, windy, isolated places. There's a significant investment in renewable in transmission um, capacity that's required to link them to the load centers, and that is already benefiting companies like Edison International, for example, in California, where something like two-thirds of Edison's transmission investment is is today targeted towards linking wind resources to the grid. What about the, the smart grid uh, companies, companies that make components or technology that make use and, and, and modulate the use of energy in a more intelligent, more efficient way? Well, you know, it's a little bit outside my area of expertise, but I will make this observation that in trying to choose the winners among the, the manufacturers of uh, um, 
say, a real like smart company, meters smart, and things like smart that. Smart meters or the winners and the manufacturers of, of uh, wind turbines. You always run the risk that a technology uh, innovation or, or uh, manufacturing innovation will cause one of the horses to lead in the race and the others to fall back. The benefit of, of playing the renewable energy um, growth through the regulated utilities is that these are regulated monopolies. They can uh, in inevitably must invest in, in these programs due to, to their need to comply with state laws, and they can put that investment in regulated rate base and earn a, uh, a fair return on that for the foreseeable future. So that Sounds like a little bit of a, of a less risky way to, to deploy some lower capital. Lower risk, this, and uh, yet th these companies are growing more rapidly than previously was the norm. All right. I want to thank you very much, Hugh Wynn, coming in from Sanford Bernstein, sharing your thoughts on renewable energy and the utilities, the regulated utilities <laughs> that are going to benefit. Thank, thank you very much. much.